Um, okay, so we've got the lines in and now we're going to dig the holes for the poles. And uh, if you come here, what I've done is we've marked the 10 meter line. We've gone straight across and I'm digging this hole. Can you come up here, please? And you see this hole is for the pole. Um, if you point the camera right here, this is what it's going to look like. Right? So this doesn't have to be a very wide hole. It can be a, a, a narrow hole. And it has to be about a meter deep. We only want this sticking up a foot or so. So you're just going to dig this and you're going to dig straight down. And here at Hamdok, when you get down a little bit, the sand is like concrete. So it's not the most fun thing to do in the world. But so you're going to dig that hole down. And that's about a meter from the sideline. That's one meter from here to there. And then another meter back, you're going to dig another hole. And I'll show you how to dig that hole later, but for now, dig this one straight down. So I've dug the hole, and I'm going to put this in, twist it in a little bit, this pipe, and see how it's sticking out of the ground. Go to foot, that's what you want. Now, you're going to backfill, you're going to put the sand back in this hole. It's very important to pack the sand down in layers as you go. So put a little bit of sand down and, and come down there because you need this to be straight up and down. If this isn't straight up and down, then the net goes all wonky when you tighten it. So you want to get down there and you just want to pack that in a little bit to make sure that it's, that it's not loose, that the sand's not loose. Because as soon as you tighten that, it's going to take this, uh, this PVC and it's going to bend it and it's, going to, it's not going to give you straight up and down. So make sure you just reach down in there, pack that sand a little bit. Put a little bit more sand in, pack it down. It doesn't have to be crazy packed, but just pack it down enough so it's not going to move that much. And there you go. That's basically what you want to do. Just get that in. Pack that down. So that's as straight up and down as you're going to get it. Fill it in. Watch out for pieces of glass and plastic. We'll get that when we take the nets down. There you go. Now let's dig the, the hole for the anchor. Okay, so we're going a meter back, about the length of a shovel, back here to do this hole. This hole here has to be dug in such a way where you can come and hammer the spike in the ground. So basically what you want to do is you want to have this wall here that goes straight down, but then you want to dig out here a little bit so I can swing the hammer and put that in there. And you know, you have to eye it in, so make it a little bit wide because you don't know where that, uh, you don't know where the spike is going to go in. You don't know where the straight line is, or if you were smart, you would find out where the straight line is and dig there. But anyway, I just like to make it a little wide just in case. Because sometimes the bamboo poles, they're not um, they're not straight up and down. So sometimes your bamboo pole will go a little bit like this and you have to anchor it a little bit to the right to compensate for that to straighten it out. So I like to make this hole a little bit wide and make it in kind of like a, um, a quarter of a circle. So you have the wall there and then you come out so I can hammer down and through it. And I'll show you in about four minutes. Maybe 12. Alright, so we've dug this hole. I'm going to put a spike in now. And we've we've um, hit the 10 or the 9 meter mark, so we know where the line is. We need this line to be very straight. That's very important when you're putting this line in. So I know, straight line, this spike is going to go here, or pretty darn close anyway. And we can work with it. So, take this spike, and I want the spike to go in as flat as possible. I don't want it to go in like this because it just gets pulled out. So you want to go as flat as possible. And just hit it into this concrete like sink. Grab it. Come on, come on. <laughs> and when you put it in, you want this to, I just want to see the ring. So I want you have to have that spike in the whole way. And that's it for that. Now we'll go and do it the other side. Okay, so first we're going to get a piece of rope. We're going to get this ready for the um, for the nets. We're going to hook this into the nets or hook the nets into these. So 
cut, I don't know, 10 inches or 8 inches, cut a little bit, and what you want to do is just tie this off so you can make a loop. And when you put the, uh, the rings on the poles, I'm going to have the ring on the pole like that, and this is going to go in the ring like this. And then the, the, um, the ropes from the nets are going to go in through here and through here. Okay, so we're going to put these at 2.5 meters up the pole. So I think this is about 2.45. Anyway, the nets are supposed to be at 2.45, but if you put these at 2.5, the sag and it just ends up being about 2.45. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it can't be too, way too high, it can't be way too low. So 2.45 to 2.5 is good enough. I usually put these a little bit high because, like I said, the set, it sags a little bit. And as these get pushed back, then that's going to go down a little bit. So, put these clamps on at 2.5. Okay, so we measured 2.5 meters up, and here it is here. So what I like to do is I like to have the 2.5 meters just above this, these knots. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill the... Uh, the, uh, look down there. We're going to fill this PVC pipe with more sand. We're going to bring this up, and then this knot here will be at 2.54. Just so you tighten up the, uh, the little ring here, and it, it won't fall down when you tighten the, the, the net. Okay, so when we put this this uh, bracket on, this brace, whatever it's called, this ring, I, you need this piece here, the bolt or the screw, to be in the back. You don't want it to be on the side. They should all be in the back so you're, you, you can stay on one side of the nut and twist it in. And then this you want to be on the other side because this is going to hook onto the net, the ropes that put the net in. So make sure that this goes on the back side. And I mean, if they all face one way, it just makes it easier, especially if you're uh, right handed. If you're left handed, you can put it on the other side and that would be easy. Okay, here's a close up of it. You can see this is where the rope for the nets are going to go on and the brace is in the back so it's not in the way and it's also going to prevent the uh, rope from falling down when you uh, when you install the nets. The here is one half of the net so what we're going to do is we're going to use those loops that we have up here. Those are for this part. Those are for the bottom rope that tightens the net. This rope here we're going to put around the ring up here and that's we're going to have one that's an anchor and then one is that's adjustable. We're going, to, we're going to anchor this before we put the net up. I just have a loop in the back, a loop at the end, and I'm just going to put it through like that. It's not a, uh, it's not a knot of any kind, just putting that in there so that's not going to go anywhere. Okay, and when I, when I anchor this down, see that's not going anywhere. And remember to keep this at the back and this at the front. So twist that a little bit. Now, this is just nothing, so just never mind that. When I, when I anchor this, I want this to be bent a little bit because I'm going to pull that rope for the net so much that it's going to pull that straight up or even, it might lean some, like one way or the other. But when I anchor it, I do want it to be pulled this way a little bit, okay? So here we go with the anchor. You see this loop? We've made a loop just like I did on the net that you'll see later. And we're going to go down here in through the in through the spike that's already there. The rope comes up and goes in through this loop here. Watch the sand that flies up. So then I just pull that a little bit and, and we're going to adjust this later so it doesn't have to be perfect but I just pull a little bit so that's bent back and watch this closely. I pinch it here and when I pinch that I can see that. Okay. See. That. Okay, when I pinch this, that doesn't go anywhere no matter sometimes you have to pinch it hard, but when you pinch that it's not gonna go. You take this rope and you just bring it through. And like I said, no, I didn't say it yet. Do not pull this the whole way through, okay? Because it's so easy to undo. That won't move. And that's all you have to do to untie it, and you're good to go. So pull it, pinch it a little bit, and then bring it through, make a loop, and then make another loop just to keep it there.
Okay, so that's one secure. Now I'm gonna go do the other one and then we'll put the net up. Okay, so I want you to look up here. All I've done here, I'm gonna show you that the, this knot that I've done a little later. Actually, it's the same knot as, as uh, here. It's the exact same knot as, I, uh, as I've done down here on the anchor. I don't, that's the only knot that I use in everything, in the anchors and the net. So I've done one here, we'll call this the anchor end because there's not much room here to play with. And the other end has, uh, has a lot of rope to uh, play with. So right now, I've done one side and I'm going to go do the other side over here. And since both of these are anchored, I can pull these as hard as I can and nothing's going to happen. Except that the net's going to be nice and straight. Okay, so I take this rope, I put it around here, pull, and remember I made these loops here. Yes, Harris! Oh! I put the rope through here, and once you get it through here, it's very easy just to pull. And as hard as you pull that, don't worry, you're not going to break it. The anchor, this anchor is really tight. I'm going to put this down a little bit because I did put these at 2.5 and they're looking a little bit high, so I'll loosen that up. I'm going to put them down a little bit. I just don't want to put this underneath yes! nice! that little uh, the little screw in the bracket. I don't want to put it underneath there because it'll slide down during play. So I, I keep that up there. And I'll pull as hard as I can. Oop. You pinch it, and when it's this tight, it's maybe a little bit hard to pinch. Hurts a little bit, but don't worry about it. You're tough. I loop that through, and as soon as I pull that, that's not going anywhere. Okay? That's a great knot, thank you to Hugh and Dan, I think. I don't know who gave us that knot, but either Hugh or Dan did that for us, and it's perfect. So if you look at that net, you can see that it's pretty straight, and I'll just check it for height. And it should be just over my fingertips. And it is, so that's a perfect height. And that was at 2.54. Might be a little tiny bit high, but it'll loosen up in the next couple of weeks and then we'll just fix it before the play. Okay, so I've put a loop on here. I'm gonna take this rope through this loop. Well, that's the plan anyway. So you get that through. And like I said before, I only use one knot. Pull that, pull that through, and that's not moving. That net's going to be at that place for the whole tournament. Remember, don't pull that rope all the way through. Loop this over, and I'm going to do the same thing to the other end. So this pole is leaning a little bit on over to this side, so I want to push it this way. So it's, it's on this side, this end of the, uh, of the uh, PVC pipe. So I'm just going to put a bunch of sand in there. Rocks are good to put in there. And then, give that a little shake. Stuff more down in there. Have your dog inspect your work. She wants to help. Now once this gets up here, I want you to stick your fingers down there and pack that in. Pack that in so it's in there tight. Go over here, fill in these holes because you don't want people falling in. And that's a net. You finished the net. Um, so just to recap, you measure out the lines. You want to find out where the middle of the lines, is, the lines are at the nine meter mark and make a straight line perpendicular to those lines so you know where to dig the hole for the PVC pipe and the and the uh, pole and the hole for the anchor because you want that in a straight line. Dig those holes, put in the uh, spike, put in the pole, anchor the pole. So remember the pole ha is leaning a little bit back because look at how straight that is right now and when I anchored it it was leaning back a little bit. When I tighten the net, that pole gets pu pulled out like that. Um, put in your uh, brackets with this little loop of uh, rope. And <laughs> again, I've noticed that I haven't done this yet, but I will do it. Just tie those on to the, uh, 
to this little ring here to keep the net from doing what I just did to the net. Um, yeah, and that's it. It's, uh, it's not that uh, difficult, but it is a little bit time consuming. So there's a volleyball net for BVB10. Uh,